Basics, Quarter 1, Lesson 1, Week 1. Learning competency describes personal health issues and concerns, height and weight. And I'm your learning guide for today, Teacher Luisa. After the lesson, the pupils will be able to describe personal health issues and concerns, identify the different personal health issues and concerns, and appreciates the value of knowing the health issues and concerns. Let us start with the meaning of the following words. Personal health issues and concerns. These are the different illnesses, abnormalities, and dysfunction of our body that concerns our likeness of being healthy. Also include your height, weight, hearing, vision, skin, hair, nails, posture, and spine condition, and oral and dental health. Have you noticed some changes happening in your body? You are now in a stage called puberty or adolescence. It means you are not a child anymore, but you are not yet an adult too. It is a time of great change and growth. However, puberty does not begin at the same age for everyone. For some, it begins as age 10 to 12 or 14. Puberty or adolescence can be confusing because the changes are different for each other. So it is important to check whether the changes in height and weight are balanced because it is an indication of a good health. Find out if your current body weight is ideal for your height. Calculate your BMI or body mass index. The ideal BMI is range over 18 to 25. Later, you will try to calculate your body mass index. Factors affecting growth of a person. Familial. Short parents have a tendency to bear children who are short. Tall parents have a tendency to bear tall children. Next one are illnesses. Some ailments experienced during infancy may cause growth problems. Next is hormonal. Some people who have problems with pituitary gland or the small glands at the base of the brain cannot produce enough growth hormones. And the last one is congenital. Some babies are infected by intrauterine growth restriction or IUGR a condition in which a baby does not grow at a normal rate inside the womb. Always remember that the diagnosis of a growth problem must be made by a doctor. Common body measurements Number 1. Low height for age Failure to reach one's growth potential due to health problems and poor nutrition. Stunted growth affects people who suffered malnutrition during childhood caused by poor sanitation and hygiene practices such as food handling, toilet habits, and drinking unsafe water. Number two, low weight for height. Wasting or extreme thinness are associated with acute starvation, severe disease, and chronic conditions. Number three, highway for age. Due to high consumption of fatty acid and sugary food, or due to high lean body mass, a person can be considered overweight. Here are the different BMI index category. BMI in category 30 and above, considered obese, 25 to 29.9, overweight, 24.9 to 18, ideal weight, and 17.9 and below is considered underweight. Obesity, a condition characterized by excessive accumulation and storage of fat in the body. Risk of life-threatening diseases like hypertension and diabetes. What to do if overweight, stop intake of junk foods and sugary drinks. Reduce intake of fatty and oily food, example, fast food and too much rice. If underweight, stop intake of junk foods, sugary drinks, and add intake of fruits and vegetables, especially nuts and beans. Carbohydrates like potato and sweet potato or kamate. 
Here are the activities that you can do after our lesson. First, take your height and weight, then compute your body mass index or BMI. Number two, draw a cartoon of yourself. Below it, write down the proper food you need to eat to achieve a healthy body. And number three, make a fishbone graphic organizer. Write down the changes you observe in your body as you enter the puberty or adolescent stage. It is so much fun to learn with you. See you again in our next lesson. Bye!